we, we, have, we have a challenge. And uh, the positive thing is that there is a realization that it cannot continue this way. How are we going to fix it? Uh, Africa is a continent full of diverse cultures, traditions, and leaders. But when it comes to international summits, African leaders are often lumped together and treated as a monolithic group. At the Mo Ibrahim Forum in Nairobi, Kenyan President William Ruto made a powerful statement about the way African leaders are treated at Africa and other Western countries' summits. He said, it is not intelligent for 54 African presidents to go and sit before one president from another country for a summit. Sometimes we are mistreated. We are loaded onto buses like school kids. It is not right. How are we going to fix it? Uh, we have also decided that it will not going to be business as usual. We have these meetings, Africa, uh, US meeting, Africa, Europe, Africa, Turkey, Africa, India. Uh, now we are waiting for, there is another one, Africa, Russia. And Africa, Japan. And Africa, Japan. We have made the decision that it is not intelligent for 54 of us to go and uh, sit before one gentleman from another place. And President Ruto's statement highlights a growing frustration among African leaders about the way they are treated on the international stage. At many summits, African leaders are often relegated to the sidelines, forced to wait in long lines and shuttled around like children. This treatment is not only disrespectful, but it also perpetuates the false notion that Africa is a single entity with no diversity or individuality. But events like the Mo Ibrahim Forum show that African leaders are ready to demand the respect they deserve. They are coming together to discuss the challenges facing their countries and forge a path forward. As African leaders continue to come together and demand respect at international summits, they are paving the way for a brighter, more equitable future for the continent. It's time for the world to recognize Africa for the diverse and vibrant continent that it is, and for African leaders to be treated with the respect they deserve.